everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 125 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out this LA Colors Ultimate Liquid Eyeliner. So I have this in the shade black and this is their Precision Eyeliner. I love LA Colors so I haven't tried any of their liquid eyeliners yet but very excited to try this out. I got this at the Dollar Tree so it only cost $1.00 and LA Colors is a cruelty free brand. So I don't wear liquid eyeliner all that often, but the other day on my channel I tried out the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I loved that. I thought that the look came out so nice and it was really easy to apply, so I'm like, ooh, maybe I'm gonna start getting into liquid eyeliner. So I've decided I could give this LA Colors liquid eyeliner a try and both of them were only a dollar. I just loved the formula of the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner because it did not smudge or fade at all and it went on so easily and it was such a dark black shade. So let's see how this other $1 liquid eyeliner compares. Oh okay, so this is a different applicator. So this applicator is a little bit bigger and it's not a soft bristle brush, it's like a hard tipped brush so it's more of a hard tip it's kind of like a marker tip but let's see how it writes so it still wrote very easily and it's a very pigmented true black color so I really like that I'm hoping this type of applicator will be just as easy to work with in order to achieve that cat-eyed winged eyeliner look Are you seeing how terrible this looks? Like it's products like this that make me think that I'm bad at liquid eyeliner and bad at doing winged eyeliner, which could be true, but with that e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, I was able to create a very smooth line, a nice pointy wing. With this, the lines are so jaggedy and the wing is not pointy. This applicator is just so stiff, so as I'm trying to drag it along my eyelid, it'll like get caught, you know, it just won't glide smooth. It also does not hold much product on the applicator, so I would have to constantly go back in and dip it into the tube, and there's really not much product in this tube. In order to make this product work, I'm going to have to go back in with a makeup wipe and makeup remover and just really like touch it up. Okay, so now I have a dramatic winged eyeliner look, but it was not easy to achieve. And this looks okay, but not like perfect by any means. Like this took so much longer to do because I had to keep going back in and fixing parts of it and then I had to go back in and like with makeup remover and try and get it more sharp and precise. So it's definitely not as easy to use as this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner that I tried from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if it smudges. Oh, wow yeah no smudging at all and it's keeping its color it's not wearing away so this eyeliner has a shiny finish to it I'll go ahead and do my other eye and come back with my final thoughts okay so the eyeliner is applied to both of my eyes now and I can't say that I love this product it's so hard to work with and it takes so long to achieve a somewhat decent looking liquid eye because the applicator is just so not precise. It claims to be precise, but it's really hard to work with. If you've ever tried this out, let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Because I'm wondering if it's just me and my eyeliner skills or if I can put some of the blame onto this product. The one good thing about it is that it's very long wear and it's only a dollar. So if this is all that I had, I could make this work, but since I have the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, which is so much better. I'm probably never going to use this one. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.